안녕하세요. 탁비 우스탁입니다. 와일드카드 결정전에서 LG 트윈스가 승리하면서 7년 만에 포스트 시즌에서 두산 베어스를 만났습니다. 7년 전 플레이오프 잠시 시리즈는 두산이 3승 1패로 승리를 했는데요. 과연 이번 준 플레이오프에서는 누가 웃게 될까요? ESPN 중계진의 해설과 함께하는 LG 트윈스와 두산 베어스의 준 플레이오프 1차전 탁TV 야구탁 지금 바로 시작하겠습니다. Feeling pretty good right out of the gate in this one. Back to the fastball there, and two down. Huge strikeout to get the three-hole hitter Kim. But the body language, <laughs> Kim wasn't so sure he wanted to go back to the dugout there. He, he it looked like he was going to ask for another try. That was a fastball right past Mr. Kim, and this one was located perfectly, and I don't know why O put on the brakes, Tommy. He absolutely had that that bag standing up, and for whatever reason, just stopped almost halfway to second. You can run it by him. Right back to the fastball. There you go. Flexion will take his rosin bag back to the dugout with him. He strikes out three in the first inning. Here's a youngster, teenager Minho Lee, four and four, the 369 opponents hit just 177 against him in October, but they used him sparingly down the home stretch. And first pitch hit the batter. He hit 10 batters during the season. Control has been an issue for the 19-year-old, and you would think nerves in the postseason an issue too, as he drills Kyung Min Her. And Kyung Min Her not happy about it. Up and in too, as, as it looked like maybe it caught him in the back or the shoulder, but certainly not the start the Twins were looking for. We'll get that sign of respect that you always get here in the KPO. I don't know that that Mr. Hurt quite. And he drills this one high and deep to right field. It is gone, and a two-run shot for Jose Fernandez to put Dusan on the board here in the first inning. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you just knew Jose Miguel Fernandez was not going to wait around too long, right? He takes the first pitch after the first pitch of the game, hits her. But once Lee showed that he was going to be around the plate on that second pitch, he is letting it rip and nothing like getting it started with a two-run homer in the bottom of the first. And your star player gets the crowd all fired up. As the Doosan Bears are having a lot of fun with this start. How about a four-seamer right down Broadway? Mm -hmm. They're dancing early. There's an American-style <laughs> bat flip, That's right. right? I mean, we've talked about the Korean bat flips. This is a bat throw. Yes. The party is on right now at James Hill Stadium. Nothing lead for the Bears thanks to a Jose Miguel Fernandez home run in the first. Yeah, and it's like you know, Park's got something in his eyeball. We got the catcher, we got the umpire, we got a lot of people taking a look at it here. When's the last time you saw an umpire try to dig something out? <laughs> well, the first thing eye. he did was ask the opposing catcher, which I thought showed a lot of trust. <laughs> and then the umpire just went right in there, didn't he? <laughs> like, he? He just hopped right in there and took a look. If you, you, you know, you're not running out there in a playoff game, but that, that will tell you all you need to know. Beautiful drag button. The throw is high, and he is safe at first base with a head first dive. Yes, it was a beautiful drag button. Maybe not quite as hard as he had hoped, but still, you make the pitcher get off the mound. You make the pitcher field his position. And Minho Lee does a nice job here of ranging 
towards the line and trying to glove flip it, but just too much arch there on that flip. The ball just didn't have enough juice. And you How do you feel about a dive into first in this scenario? Well, I've, I've never liked it. Um, I don't think it's faster, and I think it's a very easy way to hurt yourself. Totally understand that. I can see it. Kind of like those cool bullpen jackets. Runner goes, throws the second, and got him. Oh. Wow, looks like the throw was in front of the base path, but say Yuck Park delivers a strike to J-Ho Kim. Pulled the bat back and bounced it up the middle and through. Headed to third is Park, and Doosan will have runners at the corners. Now, J-Ho Kim got away with two things you're not supposed to do here on, I don't know if that was a slash and run or just a slash, but first off, he's tipping that he's not bunting. Did you see how he was moving the bat kind of in a circular motion before the bunt? Nobody does that when they're actually sack bunting. Yeah, it was a slash and run, and then he hits it up the middle, which is a big no-no on a hit and run because you know the infielders are covering at least one of the two. And so normally when you hit a ground ball up the middle, with the infield covering, it ends up being an easy double play. So he tipped that he was about to slash it, and he hit it up the middle, and it worked out perfectly. So what do I know? Oh, struck out, swinging to end the second, and he blasts this one deep to right center field, back to the fence, and it is off the top of the wall. Park will score, Kim racing around the bases, and oh, will stand up at second with a double. The push a run across. It's now 3-0 Doosan with Kim stopping at third. Wow, how about the bottom of the order for the Doosan Bears showing up in a big way. And Hung Jong Lee almost made a terrific catch. See how close he gets this ball. Well, I mean, he's within inches of that ball, Tommy. Almost looked like he took his eye off of it a little bit as he left his feet. That's a heck of an effort, though. Jay Wan took a minute. To... <laughs> <laughs> That's a double. My man did a two-hand underhand bat flip for yeah. a shot off the fence. Well, regardless, he's got the home crowd fired up. After a run scoring double. Oh man. He get hit again? Yeah, he did. So the bases will be loaded now for Jose Miguel Fernandez. Oh, mm. pardon me, it did drill him. That was <laughs> wide on wide. Yeah, I, I thought he just say, clipped Tommy, his elbow easy for pad. You to say that that one just <laughs> clipped him. <laughs> so that'll be it for the teenager Minho Lee. He goes three and a third. He leaves the bases loaded here in a playoff game. Tap to short, chance for a double play to Jung, to Ramos, and they get a huge inning-ending double play. Jin does his job, he enters with the bases loaded and the Twins trail only by three. They're at least to start the seven. Curveball swing and a miss, and Ramos has the hat trick. Flexion with a holler, he has struck out 11 through six. He is fired up and is getting the home crowd to their feet in Seoul. To left field, that's going to get down. Coming around third is J-Ho Kim, and he will score to make it a 4-0 Doosan lead. In the nine-hole hitter, J-1-0 has come through with a pair of ribbies for a guy who only drove in 27 in the regular season. How many times have we seen it, Tom? We we see in playoff scenarios unlikely heroes, guys who just catch fire. And what a piece of hitting. How about staying on a fastball on the outside edge, letting the ball travel, and using the backside of the ballpark? Digging oh, it. yeah. I'm in on all of that. Got a college football feel, doesn't it? It does. Ramos missed most of October. Hasn't homered since September 25th. 
Chase it up out of the zone again. Mm. Two down. Putting of Ramos right into that cleanup spot when he basically took the entire month of October off. And the rust has been evident throughout the course of his first two games back as he continues to expand the strike zone and just show a little bit of a lack of awareness for what he's looking for and where the strike zone is. Now four punch outs all swinging in this game. Most of those on pitches outside of the zone. Almost 40 home runs by accident in this league. Che rips this one deep into the left field corner. It's off of the fence and gets buried under the padding. The left fielder Kim throws up his hands for an automatic double and then takes it out of there. There is grass behind the warning track and that allows for a little bit of give and that will end up costing LG a run with that ball getting wedged underneath the fence. Yeah, this ball's hit so hard. You see just a two-seam fastball right down Broadway and Che with a bullet to left field. Just a rocket that plugs right underneath the padding of that fence. Up in the zone again, popped him up. Who wants it? And it's a first baseman who takes it, Jay Ill. Oh, and that will end the game. LG put two on in the ninth inning. They leave them both stranded. Chris Flexen's pitching the difference in this one. He struck out 11 over six, and Dusan has a one-game lead in a best of three, Berkey. Yeah, it's impressive performance by Dusan. They got their ace going tomorrow. We'll see what the pitching matchup looks like tomorrow. Join us again 425 a.m. Eastern for game number two. Dusan can wrap it up with a win tomorrow after a shutout today. Good morning, everybody. Ah!